bad virus, but it could have been far worse. It's almost like a good trial run. If I can't get water, I'm fine because I know I have several months of water at home. That doesn't happen if you're a prepper. And you don't have to be part of that crazy crowd that's running around trying to grab toilet paper and water. When the coronavirus crisis hit the U.S., there was one group who felt ready, the preppers, survivalists who spend their free time preparing for the collapse of civilization. 9-11, that was the craziest year ever, right? Yeah. In 2001. Yeah. Not even close anymore. I mean, 2020 is the year to remember. If you have this, at least you know, hey, I can drink from the river if I need to. Mm, it's delicious. I think he killed the turkey, Cameron. In the U.S., three million people say they're preparing for the possibility of societal collapse. Brute met two devoted members of the prepper community, Kobe and Cameron, who gave us their top tips for surviving the end of the world. Do you think you can run out of electricity in, in USA? I think is a very likely thing to happen and probably will happen as big cities will lose power from cyber attack or electromagnetic magnetic pulse or something that's going to be a little bit more wide, wide scale yeah yeah the grid goes you know? down if there's no power in three days there's not going to be any food left in the store nobody can facebook or instagram so they lose their minds <laughs> yeah go crazy yeah All right, so we're gonna test out the Moronive Spark, which is a pretty sweet little Moronive, but it has a ferro rod in the handle. So this is pretty dang sweet. And then we also have the uh, fat rope stick. So this is basically a fire starter. We're gonna test this out and see how it does. All right. What I saw them doing was actually doing this to kind of fluff it up. Nice. And then there she blows. Actually, that rod was pretty good, Can, you know? Yeah, no. For being this small? Geez, you can get easily 30 fires out of this. Boy, this no. stuff is freaking cool. I like it. A plus. This is a, a personal water filtration device that basically all bacteria, it'll remove 99.99999% of that. Basically, you just go fill this up with water, and I'll show you how that works. This screws right on, and you drink it. Mm, it's delicious. Acting. It is delicious. <laughs> does it does it taste? Tastes fine. I would let you try it if there wasn't COVID nineteen going around. I mean, who knows? In times like this, with with COVID nineteen, there's no water. You can't get to the grocery store. What are you gonna do? And if you have this, at least you know. Hey, I can drink from the river if I need to. Yeah. You know. If I have to come down here with my family and camp because town is crazy, you know, the virus is going nuts, and I can come here, we know we have water, we know we have food, we know we have a way to start a fire, and we're good to go. I think you are probably the first person we have had in the house in probably over a month just due to the pandemic and, you know, trying to keep the family as safe as possible, so welcome. Hey! Hi, girlies. Hi. <laughs> Chickens are, it's very on purpose. It's very um, deliberate. Again, it's just another thing that can help keep the family safe, especially in a uh, time like this, like this pandemic. It's, it's another thing that if we had to, you know, we could just stay in and eat eggs. We talk about prepping all the time. They understand what it's for. Right, guys? Yeah. You guys know what we're doing. Yeah. Why do we prep? We store toilet paper and food. <laughs> no, but why do we do it? Because so we're safe. Yeah, so we're safe to keep the family safe, huh? You guys remember why we have the emergency plan, the disaster plan? Yeah. Why? In case we get separated. <laughs> it, uh, when? Like at my school. Like at school, right? If something happens, if there's a disaster or something at school, what else? Um, an earthquake, flat tire, blizzard. Yeah, those are the things, <laughs> right? Yeah. What else do we need to add on to that one now? Pandemic, Pandemic right? We, I don't know why we didn't put that on before, but... Think about it, huh? 
We did not think about it. So let's just go through all of it real quick. What are the escape routes from our house if there's a fire? Four doors and windows. What are, where, where are they at? Which ones? Um, one, the basement. Two, three, and then the basement, basement windows or and the windows two. in there. So if we do have to leave really fast, we each have a bag that has stuff in it that we might need. You want to show her what you have in your guys' bag? This Down kit. is a survival kit. It has compass, whistle, matches, first aid instructions, razor blade, pencil, non-aspirin pain reliever. Um, Emergency food. So this has some extra maps too. Flashlight, Flashlight with a with an emergency uh, radio. People say about preppers that they're you know paranoid or. Um, to me, again, it's just a little bit of peace of mind. And I think the kids are less panicked because they've we've talked about it before. We've talked about a pandemic. We've talked about natural disasters. We've talked about you know economic collapses, all that crazy stuff that could happen. So it doesn't really surprise them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a bunch of you know people worried or their kids are scared about COVID-19 and ours aren't scared. If something happened and I wasn't able to take care of, of these guys and I wasn't able to um, keep everybody safe and, and healthy and fed and, and water, you know, uh, it would be horrible. If things got really bad, I think a firearm is the ultimate defense item that you can have. I don't ever want to use it on a human, but we do always consider the fact that you may need to use it in defense. I have one pistol and then I have two shotguns and two small caliber rifles. It's just another insurance policy. It's no different than the food or the water or the medicine. It's another form of insurance as a prepper, or as an American or, or whatever. They're important. Gosh, this thing shoots so much smoother than that last gun. The gun is the great equalizer in, in any type of fight, so hopefully it's enough just to scare people off and say, hey, you don't want to come here, you don't want to deal with, with this. Um, that's the hope, obviously, but you know we have it if we need it, and, that, and that's, that's the good thing. I think he killed the turkey, Cameron. Man, those targets are sweet. I know. That's, that's Thanksgiving dinner right there. For the past four years, Kobe and Cameron have been hosting a podcast that's a hit with the Prepper community. They mix survivalist advice with descriptions of apocalyptic scenarios. And since the start of the COVID-19 crisis, their audience has tripled. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast, the only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. We are your hosts, Cameron and Kobe, and we are ready to bring survival goodness direct to your ear holes. And we are ready to bring survival goodness direct to your ear holes. Mm-hmm. This is entertainment for that quarantine. Yeah, you ready, Cam? Are you excited? Because I'm excited today. I am today. excited. We've been talking about COVID for, what, two months at least now, a little over two months. It gets crazier and crazier. If we go look at the overall numbers, confirmed cases globally, two million. That is insane. I think the first time we did these numbers, we had like 40,000 or something, right? And it just continues to grow. I feel like this year is like the sampler platter yeah. of... SHTF All events. SHTF events. It really is. Try man. an earthquake out. Don't like it? Oh, let's try a pandemic. Oh, you don't like that? Let's try economic war. collapse. Let's try economic. <laughs> This yeah. is like well, the year. And then on top of all that, we have a, a presidential election at the same time. <laughs> so it is like the craziest year. Like I always used to say, you know, 9 11, that was the craziest year ever, right? Yeah. In 2001. Yeah. Not even close anymore. I mean, 2020 is the year to remember. Yeah.